I'm going to talk a little bit about the children of Israel standing around the walls of Jericho, about to <clears throat> conquer the city. They marched around the city seven times, well, seven days and then seven times on the seventh day. And God told them to praise him and shout with a great shout. Because, he said, for I have given you the city. So Moses, uh, Joshua told them, shout with a great shout and praise God because God has given you the city. And the children of Israel did that. They were acting as though they had already conquered the city. They're standing outside these giant walls, which is so large that people lived up there. Rahab lived up there, the harlot. Her house is on the street, which is on top of the wall. And they had chariot races up there. We've been to Jericho. Of course, now it's ruins. But in those days, they didn't have modern weapons, so there's no way you could penetrate that wall, naturally. But they were standing outside of that giant city, and they were shouting as if they had already conquered the city while the walls were standing. For one reason only, and that reason was because God said, I have given you the city. So they were shouting because of what God said. They ignored the walls. The walls were immaterial. The walls were irrelevant. Your problem is irrelevant. Your circumstances are irrelevant. When Almighty God says something in His Word, that's what matters. And we praise God because of His promise. Even if the walls are still standing and you're on the outside of your victory, it does not matter. What matters is what God said about it, and that's why we praise Him. They praise God as if they had already conquered the city. There was no visible evidence that they had conquered the city. They were simply acting on what God had said. Now, as soon as they began to praise God in unity, the walls of Jericho fell down flat and they were able to run in and take possession of it. They were, let me say this, this is very important. Listen to what I'm going to say here now. They were not praising God so that the walls would fall down. Again, they were not praising God so that the walls would fall down. That's not going to knock the walls down. That's not going to knock the walls down. We don't praise God so we can be healed. We don't praise God so the money will come. We don't praise God so we will get our new job. That's not faith. Faith is present tense. I have received it. I have it now. Faith is the evidence of, evidence of things not seen. You've got to praise God because of what the Word says, family. I've got it now, so I'm praising Him because I've got it, even though I can't see it. God said, by my stripes you are healed, therefore I'm praising God because I am healed, because He said I am. My condition is irrelevant. Are you tracking me? God said, I have given you the city, and that's why they were praising God. In other words, we have conquered the city, even though we cannot see it at this point in time. You are healed, even though you can't see it at this point in time. You are prospering and financially successful even though you can't see it at this time because God said in his word I will meet all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus Philippians 419 
Because he said in his word in 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9, that he became poor that you might be rich. So because it's a fact, the cross is 2,000 years ago, riches are ours, we praise God because they're ours. Amen. The truth sets us free. If they did not praise God, if they just stood there outside the walls, silently, with their hands by their sides and their mouths closed, it would show God they did not believe what God said. I have given you the city, therefore shout. If they just stood like this and didn't shout, it would prove they did not believe what God said. That would be the evidence of it. So this my praising God is the evidence that I believe God. I like to tell the devil, Mr. Devil, watch me praise God because that's the evidence that I believe this promise. I have it now. It doesn't matter what I can see or can't see. I have it now. And I'm praising God for what he said. Watch this, Mr. Devil. He's trying to put doubt in my mind and I force him to watch me praise God. He doesn't like that. That torments him. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.